But for too long, our government has violated the cardinal rule that every Bitcoiner knows by heart. Never sell your Bitcoin, right? The policy of my administration, United States of America, to keep 100% of all the Bitcoin the U.S. government currently holds or acquires into the future. This will serve, in effect, as the core of the strategic national Bitcoin stockpile. It is getting very interesting. Eight months ago, I decided to invest $1 into Bitcoin every single day. I also did the same thing with Ethereum and Dogecoin using Robinhood's automated investing program. So you've heard it all. Crypto's a scam. It's too risky. It's only being used by criminals. And yet, on long-term horizons, some of these coins keep going up in value. And for reference, every crypto on this list of top-performing cryptos above a $1 billion market cap for the first half of 2024 has beaten the top performing stocks over the same time period. Interestingly enough, one of those stocks was CrowdStrike, which was responsible for a major global tech outage recently. So risk is relative and everywhere, even in the S&P 500. You've probably also heard that BlackRock, with a casual $9 trillion in assets under management, is getting into the crypto space with their Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs, which means investors don't have to go through the process of or take the risk of self-custodying Bitcoin and Ethereum. They can just buy the ETF equivalent similar to investing in VOO or QQQ. In addition, crypto is now being directly addressed by both sides of the political aisle here in the US, and investors are currently speculating that lower interest rates are on the horizon, which can make riskier assets like crypto more appealing. All of this to say, there's a lot of attention being directed to the crypto space. Before we really get going here, remember, I'm just a guy on the internet, not a financial advisor. So if you're going to put your money at risk, especially with crypto, be prepared to lose it all at any moment. And these cryptos may or may not be unregistered securities. Don't ask me who you're supposed to ask about that. Not a lot of clear laws in place yet. It's a multi-trillion dollar asset class. I am sure the people in high places will get to it eventually. Hi, I'm Raj V. We talk about money on this channel and in this video, my money, but more accurately, my crypto. These positions didn't just show up out of nowhere. I didn't suddenly decide I'm going to invest a dollar a day in the high risk investments. We all know that due to inflation, everything is getting crazy expensive and because of this, I had to figure out what I was spending my money on and if it was really worth it to me. I looked at my life in the present day and tried to imagine what I wanted my future to look like. I then matched that up with my spending habits. The thing I realized was there was a clear disconnect. It was obvious that those $7 light beers and $22 mixed drinks that weren't even that good to begin with weren't worth it anymore. Don't get me wrong, I had a great time in my 20s, I'm not knocking responsible alcohol use, and I still drink from time to time, but these days, for the most part, the bill just gets run up for no reason real reward. My night is not any better or worse when I drink or don't drink, but it's nice to not have to worry about hangovers or brain fog for the week after. So now I'm trading total loss of that money for risk and potential reward. First up, Bitcoin. The most interesting thing about this flagship crypto is that there's 21 million Bitcoin up for grabs at maximum. So as it stands today, there's a hard cap to the supply. And that also means there isn't enough Bitcoin for every millionaire to own an entire Bitcoin. So what started as a peer-to-peer -peer cashless network has now pivoted to a hedge against currencies that are being devalued, which is highly appealing to basically everybody since the US dollar has lost and continues to lose purchasing power. So this $1 a day investment started on November 16th, 2023, which means I've invested $252. That is now currently worth $317 at the time of recording this video, and my little daily investments have added up 0.00466 Bitcoin so far, and the position is up overall 25%. Next up, Ethereum. Now, what makes Ethereum a special cryptocurrency is it gives developers the ability to build and deploy smart contracts and decentralized applications. Ethereum isn't the only crypto that can do this, but it is the number two crypto and has been for a long time, and still remains the altcoin that every other smart contract crypto competes against. So what's a decentralized application? Well, effectively, it's a program that runs on a network of computers rather than a single computer. And what's a smart contract? Well, just like a real life contract, a smart contract is a digital contract. So when something happens on a blockchain, in this case, something else happens as a result based on the rules of the contract. For example, if a startup wants to get funding for their new business adventure, they can allow for investors to put up however much money they want up to the funding goal. If the project gets fully funded, the money goes from supporters 
there's two founders, and if it never gets funded, the funds get returned. This can happen on the blockchain without a third party. So that's just the surface level stuff. We can go much deeper, but you're here for the portfolio. My $1 daily investments have turned into $285 so far, and I've accumulated 0.087 Ethereum as a result. The position is up 13.24%. Hey, real quick, if you're finding value in this video, be sure to click the like button. This lets myself and YouTube know to give you more content like this in the future. And finally, Dogecoin. It's a meme coin. There's not much else to say other than internet take the wheel. My $1 daily investments have turned into $288 so far, and I've accumulated just over 2,200 Dogecoin as a result. The position is up 14%. Overall, we can see that the crypto positions have had some wild swings up almost 40% at one point, and also in the red for a day here in July 2024. But interestingly enough, the positions were only down a small fraction of the time since November of 2023 when those investments started. And that is, of course, because crypto overall has had a good year. Now, the fun part, let's do some projections. And if you're interested in money, finance, crypto, dividends, all that more, we talk about that here, so feel free to subscribe. The calculator I'm using is from investor.gov and doesn't allow me to invest daily. But $3 a day is $1,095 a year, or or $91.25 a month. Let's say crypto continues to show its promise, specifically Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, and it outpaces the stock market by 5%, or an average year-over-year -year growth of 15%. At 10 years, the money I put into these positions turns into a potential $22,000. Now I know there's some criticism to this. Crypto is risky, it's volatile, and as an asset class develops, the returns might not be as high. So let's run the numbers again here with a much more reasonable 6% year-over-year -year return, and we can see that it turns into a potential $14,000. Now, just for fun, at 35 years, this same investment would turn into a potential $121,000. I know inflation and taxes are not accounted for, but the overall concept is that investing for the long term in the right assets can give you financial options down the line, and it can happen with as little as $3 a day. Now, it remains to be seen if Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin are those right assets. We'll all find out together eventually. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on crypto in the comment section. Are you doing something similar with your pocket change? What are you buying? Or are you staying away from this entirely? I want to know. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video and have a good one.